Hi, my name is Darlene Carmen, and welcome to The Painting Gourmet Show. This show is created just for you. Momoko Sudo creates abstract art that's very unusual and very distinctive. Um, she paints and draws freehand, one by one, to make beautiful wave, light, uh, wave life um, art that is called linescaping. Hi, welcome to the show. Now, Glad to be here. Uh, you know, I keep wanting to say landscaping. I'm so yes, used to that, so yes. I trip on linescaping. That's a new term to me. So uh -huh. is this something that you have named for your art, or is this a known style of art? Well, actually, the uh, use of lines um, mm -hmm. as a form of design or art is pretty old. It's not new it's at all. Old. Uh -huh. And actually, as you know, there is a um, uh, discipline of art called op art. Uh -huh. And that one started at the, around the time that I was born, uh -huh. which is a long time ago, it <laughs> seems. So, and also I have seen, I did some research long, uh, when I started doing this, and I have seen some pictures of um, artifacts that those ancient people were scraping lines in the um, crays or rocks. Oh yes, I have so, seen that, mm -hmm. yes. So uh, this um, concept itself is not my invention at all. However, I think I put a very um, perfect name for that and I started using it and not only using it, um, I even have a website linescaping.com and my client started using the term as if it's a, a known word. So as far as I'm concerned, um, it is in my dictionary already. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, lines have been used, like you say, I've, I've seen it for gardening too. The dry uh -huh. gardens mm -hmm. in Japan, they, have, they rake them. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. So, so in many different ways, that, I uh -huh. guess they've used uh, mm -hmm. lines. So why don't you show us some of your art and mm -hmm. kind of enlighten us as we go here. Okay. So um, I have created so many, so I had to um, select just okay. a limited numbers and I'm right. going to start from the beginning part then okay. I, I'm going to show you how it has evolved from the simple small format to larger format okay sure so this one is the most um, simplest form this way can we set that up here yeah. there we're going to try to keep it still. We yes, don't want it moving yes. off. <laughs> there so we go. It looks I'm, good. Yes, I'm going okay. to explain how this works. So I basically draw starting line from here to here and goes on and on, which is very simple. However, in the end, the bottom part of the line has to end straight as a straight line without um, leaving strange gaps. Mm. So what I do is as I go um, along in the progress, I have to make a, uh, very slight adjustments in the intervals of lines in, in everywhere wow. in the way that matches to the ending line. Now, if, you're, if, if it's a pencil, you can yes. erase. You can yes, erase. yes, if, yes. If it's a paint, no, not yes, so much. Yes, <laughs> yes. So um, yeah. basically, the note lines touch each other, and they do not cross each other. No. No. It's, it's illegal. It's illegal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so okay. uh, this this is very simple, but it's very intriguing. It is. And um, a lot of people see somebody or something in bed, in the cover. Mm. So actually, a friend of mine uh, titled it Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Because that's what he wants to do. He wants to be in bed in Sunday morning. <laughs> Okay, so and this is also early work, and just ink on paper. Just ink, okay. Yes, and all right. So um, I have been showing my art to many, many people, and I have been discovering that everybody sees different things. However, there are patterns. So in this case, um, about half of people see some uh, water-related. Yes. I, I was thinking that, looking at that, uh -huh. I, I see waves. But and surprisingly, about half of people see mountains or oh. um, bottom of the ocean, a topography mm -hmm. type of thing. So that's very surprising that then uh, after that, I cannot convince them to see water. <laughs> 
the people out there, when they look at art, I, I've had some similar things where they'll, they'll see things in my clouds. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I know that they're there and I could get rid of them, but sometimes <laughs> I just leave them and see if anybody notices it. You know? It's fun <laughs> to play with the public like that. Yes. <laughs> okay. And this, this is a very uh, popular piece, piece uh, but this um, it's an illegal piece. Uh oh, because it's touching. No, because close. at the bottom it's not ending as a straight line. Ah, okay. But because of it, um, I'm, I am less restricted, so I can throw more movement in the composition. Ah, yes. Very nice. It, you could hold that either way, uh, that particular one, couldn't you do yes, that? Yes, this one, I think I, it's better this way. Yeah. Do you like this way? Uh, I like, yeah, I do. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do like it, yeah. Good. Now, I'm going to show um, just two pieces okay. out of a um, series that I made about a dozen. Mm. And I, I came up with this uh, composition with a black part in it. And it gives... Solid ink? Is that solid ink? Or what is uh, the black it's, part? I use the Sumi ink. Oh, yes. 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 And because of this uh, black strip, it uh, gives a very different emotion than um, other previous um, work. Mm, yes. Yes. And then... Now, what, what do people see? when they look at this type of work? Um, I, I see something in the next one, definitely, yes, definitely see yes. something. And probably, well, now you got it upside down. <laughs> I was gonna say I saw a road. This one? This one. Oh. A road. Yes, well. But so it's upside down. <laughs> some people uh, see like a bottom of ocean. And oh, really? But this one, well, in earlier work, I was always um, putting this signature but now I realize that um, this can be like this. Yes. So now you've got to like put your signature all around. So uh, <laughs> now I don't sign my um, name on, in the front side. Yeah, makes sense. Yes, yeah. but this is interesting because this particular piece I was showing uh, at the exhibition in Miami, Florida in 2005 winter. That was right after two big hurricanes. Yes, yes. So um, it really reminded them of a um, storm. Yeah. And, you know. Definitely. So yeah. we all see things um, from our own experience. And I, yeah. I think maybe if they look at this when they forgot about hurricane, maybe they see something else. Yes, yes. yes. That's interesting. And these part two pieces, uh, this series, for some reason, um, Many men see um, female body parts. Uh oh. <laughs> and they don't really um, explain, and I tell them not to I'm tell not, me. I'm not going to ask. <laughs> right, but it's very uh, amazing because no woman said that, oh, it, this looks like so and so. Yeah. So yeah. it's very interesting. I'll look at that later. <laughs>